Okay, well, there was a couple of videos posted on YouTube of a gentleman who made a little uh, electric motor dynamo that used one of these uh, ring magnets, or cylinder magnets, people call them, that are magnetized on the outside. And he used a couple of bifiler coils, evidently, uh, kind of like this, only they're all one coil. And then uh, ran it up and uh, showed about 60 volts uh, coming off of uh, the coils being driven off of um, like about 3 volts. And uh, I'm going to show here my amp draw and the voltage on my little setup. And uh, I don't know if this is how he's done it, but it's how I would do it. And what I'm using is one semiconductor for switching. It's just a transistor. And these can be very, very, very small and be hidden. Uh, instead of a bridge rectifier, I'm just using one little switching diode. And then I'm going to go into a um, fairly high voltage cap, low microfarad rating, and then show the uh, the uh, neon lighting up here and show the, the voltage, that kind of like what he showed here. And like I say, this may not be how he did this, but it's how I would do this. And on his video, he used a Dremel to rev up the thing. Uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, dynamo, I guess. And then I took that off, and the thing just kept the, the same speed. On mine, I don't need to do that. I'm just going to hook it up, give it a little twist. There it goes. You probably can't even hardly hear it. But there's my voltage on mine. And there's my LED, or uh, neon blinking. This is off a couple AA batteries. There's my amp draw, about 50 milliamps. And uh, like I say, this is how I would do it. I would use one transistor. There's no resistors. There's nothing else in that circuit. And you could probably put that right next to the coils here in such a way and use a very small one that you wouldn't even see it. I don't know if this is how he did it or not, but it's how I would do it. And that's, like I say, very similar to the kind of voltage he was showing on his uh, video, uh, being driven by that. And like I say, there's my amp draw right there. He said he was getting about 100 milliamp on his, revving up to about 7,000 RPM. I have very poor bearings. And let me show you my uh, RPM on this. Uh, about 2700 RPM. Not very fast. But anyway, it's uh, it's like I say, it's how I would do this. And uh, I'm using this uh, one transistor. For a while there, I thought that it was just, uh, just coils, just wired up in series, and it was some sort of um, induction AC kind of thing. But I'm pretty uh, pretty sure that's not how it was done. You would never get that kind of voltage on the flyback unless you're switching these coils on and off and in order to switch the coils on and off you have to have some kind of a switch and that's what I used right there okay, let me show you the other part that was kind of the mystery to this and that was this um, this is just a neo magnet on each end of two of these button cells and he had this component mounted up on his unit like this I'm just going to show it right here, and um, like I say, it's um, it's how I would do it. Now, whether this is how he would do it, I don't know, but it's how I would do it. And there it's running. There's my amp draw on this. Take this off. There's my um, neon blinking. And that's just running with that right there. And that's all that is. That's two, uh, two button cells in series to make that thing run. And uh, there's the, the flyback. You can't even hear this run, unfortunately. Very quiet. Uh, if I had better bearings, this would rev up even better and I'd get a better voltage. But uh, that's what that is. Let me show you what the meter reads with that. With that kind of a setup, it's not quite as good. It's about 54 volts. But uh, if I take the meter off of this, it will flash that neon.
and that's with just these little uh, button cells. Anyway, that's that's uh, what I wanted to share with folks. That uh, I was fascinated by that little motor, and so were a lot of people. And this may not be the way he's doing it. I wish he would tell us how he's doing it, but uh, this is how I would do it. Thanks for watching.